the tranquility that it gives to the children. It's a positive energy that you give back to each other. It's the new hands-on approach in the classroom. All children in all schools all over the world will experience positive touch every day. Learning respect and empathy doesn't come from a workbook or whiteboard, just a pair of palms. It helps them to cope better with school. Anne Elston travels Australia teaching classrooms the Global Massage in Schools program, a way for kids to relax, recoup and re-energise. Children are actually having to do something for somebody else in a very active way. Anne says our kids can get agitated, aggressive and hyperactive throughout the day. They need time to settle back into their seats. Empathy, it's about thinking about the other child, even when you might have had a bad recess or lunchtime, that you're thinking about somebody else. In over 30 countries around the world, pupils all over the planet are learning the biggest lessons in life. It's based on respect, so the child who's going to give the massage asks for permission. They're quite active, they've been quite busy, and we want them to go back into a focus mode. Here at Naranda Primary, Sue Traber's Year 3-4 class are mini masseurs. As soon as they start that program, it's a little bit like magic. It just becomes tranquil in the classroom. It becomes very peaceful and quiet, and the children just go into a sense of um, peace. I like receiving it, and, and I like how it calms you down. The 15-minute sessions have different strokes with names the kids can relate to, from the hairdresser to the baker. The children can focus again, and. Um, have that energy level to go back into the next task that we're going to do. UK studies show an improvement in children's well-being, including increased levels of self-esteem, a reduction in aggressive behaviour and bullying, and greater creativity and problem solving. And it makes it easier to focus. And research shows children with ADHD find out firsthand what calm feels like. Children who have behaviour issues, children who find it hard to concentrate and learn, can really, really find that it's a positive thing for them. Anne says the no-touch policy in schools to control bullying is sending out the wrong message. For me, that's quite scary because that doesn't teach children about appropriate touch. With overcrowding curriculums and after-class commitments dominating our little ones' lives, these guys are getting a firm grasp on what really matters. I think it just has wider benefits for the community. The children know how to give back to somebody in a positive and safe manner.